Welcome to another fractions lesson. In this lesson, we'll be looking at the pattern for adding fractions with like denominators. When we find patterns in mathematics, we call that algebra. We need a few extra pieces to do this work. I have added some letters and a question mark. From our last lesson, we had this recording. One-fourth plus two-fourths equals three-fourths. Two-sevenths plus three-sevenths equals five-sevenths. You explored some more adding with like denominators. Today we're going to describe what happened. We had one-fourth. When we added it to two-fourths, to end up with three-fourths, our sum, the denominator stayed the same in each case. And when we look at the numerator, this number are the two numerators added together. Does that pattern also hold here? Yes, the denominators are the same, and when the two numerators are added, we have the answer to our problem. When we create a pattern in algebra, we substitute symbols for the numbers, so the pattern becomes more obvious. Today I'm going to use these letters here. A will be my first denominator, my first numerator, sorry. B will be my denominator. Since Four is the same in all three. I'm going to put a B in each of those places. Two is a new number, so I need to give it a new letter. And my answer here was A plus C added together. This is my algebraic formula. Let's see if the pattern also can be written here. I have the same denominator. I have my first numerator, the next numerator, and when those two are added together, I have the numerator sum. Yes, this pattern holds true. I can write this pattern down on the top of a piece of paper called Fraction Patterns Algebra. This is the pattern for adding fractions with like denominators. Now, let's use our number pattern, our algebra, to work out a problem. Remember our pizza story? Here are the four pieces of pizza. Let me lay out my pattern. I need A over B added to C over B, and that's going to equal A plus C and I'm going to use two of my little denominator strips, my fraction strip, to create that line over B. So as I looked here at my pizza, my denominator, B, is going to equal 4. So wherever B is, I'm going to put a 4 there. B equals 4. Here is my, I want to talk about this piece first. So I have one of my fourths, so A is going to equal 1. For C, my problem, original problem said I had 2 
pieces. So my numerator, in this case, C, is going to equal 2. Let me put a 1 where my A was, and a 2 where my C was. My question was, how many pieces did I have all together? The answer to this problem is right here. I fill in my A with a 1. I fill in my C with a 2. And my answer, 1 plus 2 equals 3. This is an example of how algebra can be used to describe a problem and to solve it. I have another one for you to figure out. I'm going to use the same materials, so my B is going to stay the same. but I'm going to change what I'm looking for. All right. So for this problem, again, I'm dealing with four pieces of pizza. And again, you have chosen to have one of those pieces. So the A in my formula equals 1. We don't know how much pizza I ate. But when you came back, after getting a color pencil, there was only one piece left. So my question is, how many pieces did I eat? I guess that's your question. I know the answer. So in this case, we know that A, the amount you have eaten, plus the amount that I have eaten, is the answer to this part of our problem. Hmm. Well, I'm going to take away my, uh, I'm going to take a look here and say, well, I know my answer to A is 1. So now I'm going to look up here. What is left? Well, when I, when you left, there were three pieces of pizza. Hmm. So I know that these, num this number here, has to equal three. Let's see. If there was one here, and this number has to equal three, I ate two pieces. And my answer to C is two. Have fun exploring algebra.